Hello everyone. This is Amber Two Thousand here. Welcome to my channel. Well, I play a variety of games and do new relations for fanfics. I'm really hoping you, you enjoy my content. If you do, make sure to comment below. Leave a like and subscribe with the notifications on. Right, until next time, this is Amelie2000. Welcome to my channel. So, hi. And Mara's story. Chapter 8. Once we got home, we found the place was empty. Trust took me to a hill to just sit and talk. On Trust's part, of course, I laid down on my front nest to Trust, who sat with one knee bent up and the other leg stretched out. After a few minutes of silence, he spoke up. Palmer told me everything he did to you. I put my ears up, then lowered them with a sky. Trust petted my head and ruffled my bangs. At least he's not right now. What do you think wouldn't happen if I hadn't been there to save you? Or volunteer to help heal you? I already knew what would ha have happened. There would have been... Would be a 90% chance I wouldn't be here. I leaned my head against Trust's bent knee and wagged my tail. He chuckled and patted my shoulder. As he did... I took notice of his tra train. Wrapped around his wrist, it was long and circular, like a necklace. It was started with a few sparkling purple orbs, about ten, perhaps. Thus saw me looking at it and said, You know what this is? He stretched the chain out. I stepped at it and shook my head. My most prized possession, my hypothalamus chain. He sees an area causing one of the sparkling purple orbs to nearly pop out. This burger is a hybrid farmer's breed, straight from the farmer's clan. I sealed the breed, then cocked my head. Why would Trash want a hybrid farmer's breed? As of sensing my silent question, Trash entered, I correct these during my work. See, when I enter a body, first thing I do is cause a sore throat. Then I recruit some germs to do my dirty work. It calls a stuffy nose. People think it's nothing but a common cold. So they don't do nothing about it. I go to a local bar or club or whatever and tell everyone my plan. While the brain cells are distracted and snaps the hyperfamous breed, he, sn he snaps the fan nail in his fist to symbolize his point. And then, while the body's heaping up to 108, I get the hell out before I burn up with it. I laugh along with him. I don't know why the last line was so amusing. Maybe it was how he said it. I've been trying to set a record for myself. Trash continued. Get myself into the middle of bits, but I'm taking it slow. Decreasing my deadline as I go. He chuckled at his rhyme. You were lucky I was able to take some time off. He tapped my nose with his burner call, making me giggle. Yeah, nof none of the other viruses be able to compare to me like Ebola. Ebola is a case of dandruff to compare to me. He yelled. I barked and growled, but not towards him. I didn't know Ebola personally. But I supported Trash's statement that he was tougher than the wyvern virus. He chuckled and patted my head. You know, you're all right. I wagged my tail and smiled. Then I nosed the hyper virus chain and raised one eyeball crescently. The hyper virus gram, which has a chamber holding all of the breeds, is in one of the top fours in the brain. Trash's brain, heavily guarded by brain cells and sinuses alike. I destroy the chamber and poke these little babies out. Then I escape and make my way to the nest party. I'm also able to glide with my coat. 
He showed me pockets in the bottom where he stripped his feet in to spread the bottom chart. I stretched out the west with my hands and guide with the wind. I tried to imagine Tress guiding with his coat, but couldn't quite do it. I climbed onto his lap, only a couple of grunts from him. Jeez, Amelia. You must have been gaining weight. I don't remember you being this heavy. Nonetheless, he choked me from the back of my he neck, down my back, and started all over again. So I went to a very soaking his cat. I like this. I smiled and wagged my tail. Then I rolled onto my back, smiling up to him. Rolling his eyes, he began scratching my stomach. Boy, did that feel good. I kicked my leg my, as my tail wagged harder. And then Joel, Mr. Palmer was my true owner. I didn't sure to trust my master. Of all, he healed me, tamed me somewhat, and treated me like anyone should treat a pet animal. I wanted it to stay like that. Nothing could probably spoil or waste it. Boy, was I wrong. Hi, how are you everyone? This is m 2000 again. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Because, you know, I, I really did enjoy making it. But. So I hope you enjoyed it. Comment. Like and subscribe with the notifications on down below. Till next time, bye!